say I'm pulling an all-nighter? I don't think so. This is one of those broken record situations. Just take a gander at what time it is. It's 3.04 a.m. It's currently 7 a.m. and I haven't gone to sleep yet. It's 3.55 a.m. It's 4 a.m. now. Oh no. Normal sleeping schedules fascinate me. When people tell me they go to bed before 11 p.m. Sounds fake, but okay. But anyways, it's still pretty early in the night for me. It's just a little past midnight. As it turns out, it was actually 1.30 a.m. Typical. Time escapes me. So naturally, with absolutely nothing going on, I thought to myself... How can I sleep at a time like this? And I'm just gonna throw this out there. I still haven't tested out my new bathtub. <laughs> so, uh, why don't I just go and do that? rating this bath a 12 out of 10. I don't even know how to act right now. I am already sweating as to be expected. I've learned over the years that I tend to like water temperature much hotter than the normal human being. How about a little life update before I have a literal meltdown on camera? again. I am loving my apartment with all my heart and soul. It's like it's my little pet. I just want to take care of it. Oh, and the other day I had my first sleepover with Ted in this neck of the woods. Cue that footage. Right now I'm pulling a rescue mission. My mom is out of town and my dog's happiness is dependent on her. And so I'm gonna go grab him. But the problem is I'm not my mom either. So when he sees me, I just know it's gonna be like that same feeling when you're waiting for a text from someone and then you get a text and you get all excited and it's not the person you wanted it to be. That's how Teddy's gonna feel when he sees me. <laughs> but he's just gonna have to deal with that and we're going to spiral without my mom together. Pack your bags, Teddy, cause you're coming with me. You know? <gasps> Dad! This Diana. She's my friend. You can say hi. Hi. When you combine friend groups. <laughs> Another event to take place this week, um, my roomie, Diana, she she got in a little bit of a car accident. But Diana is fine, she's okay, isn't that right, Dee? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, I was rear-ended by some scammers. I'm a survivor, I'm not gonna give up, I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hot. Bath time is canceled. So, next on the agenda, I accidentally rekindled my love for The Sims recently, but I've actually been saving creating myself as a Sim for this very occasion. No one asked for this, but go off, I guess. So, if you'll excuse me, I will be right back. I am just going to quickly build the overall framework of my Sim. I have a confession to make. My sim self is what I would call the extremely facetuned version of myself. No regrets there. So let's begin at the beginning and give myself a personality. I've always wanted one of those. Pick an aspiration. I'm already stressed. Family, food, fortune, knowledge, location. What does that even mean? Is that in case someone's aspiration in life is to be Google Maps? Love, nature, and popularity. Popularity? <laughs> Who cares about that? <laughs> 
<laughs> Please follow me on Instagram. Wow, I'm kind of embarrassed because it isn't even a contest in my mind. I'm going to go with love. Yeah. And the options in the love category are serial romantic or soulmate. Going on dates with all sorts of people sounds fun and all, but you see my dating strategy, IRL, is just not leaving my house and hoping that the love of my life will find me there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with soulmate. This sim wants to find and live a rewarding life with the one. You and me both, sis. <laughs> Would love that for me. And now I get to pick a trait. Cheerful, but then there's goofball. Cheerful goofball. Goofball cheerful. Looks like there's only one way I'm gonna handle this one. Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are it. Cheerful it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, they have a perfectionist option, <laughs> if that ain't me. I will go on record and say that being a perfectionist is not a good thing. Zero out of 10 would recommend self brought on stress. And let's see, last but not least, there are a lot of tempting options, but I am gonna go with the vegetarian option. And there we go, <laughs> I feel like I just set up my dating profile. Hi, I'm Michaela Long and I am searching for my soulmate, so if you are into perfectionist vegans that who always has a smile on their face. Hit my line. This is why I don't go on Tinder. <laughs> that and the app makes me feel like I need to take a shower. Now I think it's time for a little get ready with me sim edition. Step one, my eyelash extensions. Step two, blush and highlight. Step three, lips. <laughs> Yes, the answer is yes if you're asking yourself if I really downloaded Kylie Lip Clits into the game. You bet I did. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, my outfit. I tend to like comfort. <laughs> and so typically when it comes to a top, my go-to is just a colorful t-shirt or my current personal favorite, a candy striped long sleeve. Well, bam throw on some high-waisted jeans, obviously. And last but not least, my infamous yellow band. <laughs> Oh, it's like looking in a mirror and my reflection saying, I'm you, but stronger. And now it's time to send that classic late night text. Let's go. <laughs> okay, get in loser, we're going shopping. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> it's now 3.30 a.m. So I think it's time for some soothing music so we can unwind. What are you doing in my swamp? I'm not proud of what just happened. How to catch a Pokemon. Step one, get your finger ready for some action. <laughs> Step two, close your eyes and swipe up. And next time I check my phone, I will see that I have caught the Pokemon. What? What is he still doing here? <laughs> Teddy, lead the way to the Pokemon. He's sniffing them out. Ted, you led me to a Machop. Watch and learn, boys and girls. Sorry to flex on you like that. <laughs> I never get excellent. <laughs> and then we decided to forage for food. So we are on our way to Jack in the Box. The tea is I had Jack in the Box last night. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Not eat Jack in the Box at 4 a.m.? Not gonna lie, feeling a little sleepy without my fuel. <laughs> I picked up a hitchhiker. I'm not even upset. I enjoy the company. Hello? 30 seconds away is a second Del Taco. <laughs> and this one's open! <laughs> Can I get an eight layer burrito? Minus three layers. Yes. No rice, no cheese, no sour cream. I'm doing what the internet told me to do. Here you go. Thanks. <laughs> oh, we made such intense eye contact. I think I blacked out while you were ordering. Why are there 
four burritos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first up, we have the <laughs> eight-layer burrito that I custom ordered to be a five-layer burrito. And then you take a slightly larger bite. That's definitely sludge wrapped in a tortilla. No, I like it. <laughs> Bye. Bye, baby. Love you. Thank you. Popular opinion, but all nighters are misunderstood. With nights like these, I just don't find them half bad. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, my lovelies, and thank you, thank you, thank you for 500k. <laughs> and here is all the love just for you.